G'day guys, Western Run Sealed. Um, so it's night time, we're out here doing our test on the three different technology of spotlights that you'll see on the market. We've got a HID, we've got a halogen, and we've got our LED. Um, first things first, I want to do a test and see how many amps each of them draws. Um, the specs will be in the article for each light. I can't remember them off the top of my head. Um, so you will have to read the article, not just watch the video, unfortunately. But, so our first one, setting to zero over the negative, the clamp meter, and the LED draws 4.9392, it's called 4.9 amps, all right. Uh, from there, disconnect the LED, reconnect our halogen. And the halogen is the big one, I think, because it's gonna be drawing about 100 watts, I think it's 100 watt globe. So, off the halogen, Okay, the peach when we first fired it up, obviously, to um, to light the globe up, but we're currently drawing 6.5. It's a little more, but I actually expect it to be quite a bit more. Um, considering we're running a 12-volt system, um, I would have expected closer to probably 8 or 9 amps. Um, so that's obviously maybe not a 100-watt globe. I'll have to check the specs. We'll see. From there... because they have to heat up. Zero. Okay, heat up. And this one was just up to seven. We're down to 6.3, 5.8, So we'll hold on for a couple of seconds. Um, okay, it's starting to stabilize at 4.8, 4.7. 4.6 and a 4.4. Okay, so we're starting to, oh no, here we go, drop further. So obviously the warmer it gets, the further it heats up. Uh, the more interesting that the, the amp draw gets, it actually goes quite a bit lower. Okay, we've just leveled out at exactly four amps, 4.01, 4.02, 4.01. .01. So let's call that four amps draw on that. Okay, so from there, um, what I want to do is I want to plug them all in. Now I've got enough wiring here uh, and heavy gauge enough wire to feed all these lights, all the amps that they want, so I can fire them all up at the same time. Um, the point of that, obviously we might hold this on for a couple of seconds, uh, let it get nice and warm, and we're going to do a temperature test. Um, I'm guessing that the halogen is going to be the, the, uh, the warmest. And I'd probably say the LED will be next, followed by the HID. I'm not sure how much heat dissipation the HIDs do, but interestingly enough, our LED doesn't have a massive big heat sink on the back that you would see. That said, it's only got three LEDs in there that I've seen, maybe four. Um, so they use a lot of reflective in that specific light, so it's not one just started with 100 LEDs like most of them are. So we'll see. Um, all right, so the ground over there in the dark, I've got an ambient dirt temperature of 22 degrees um, on the back of this one okay so the HID we're showing 29.1 degrees the back of the halogen we're showing 30.2 30.3 30.4 so it's slowly heating up even through the plastic and on the back of the LED we're showing 28.1 27.9 so about there, but it doesn't seem to be increasing, sort of hovering, because my hand is probably not shaking. Um, so yeah, okay, so that gives us a good indication. Now, if you have a look down range here, um, you can see the three different lights. Now, you've obviously got the HID on the left, um, the halogen in the center, and the LED on the right. Now, the halogen is very yellow. Um, the HID is a little closer to white, I would think. And obviously the, the LED on the far right is very, very, very white. Um, funnily enough, I would guess, just looking at these, that the HID is probably closest to daylight, whereas the halogen is obviously very yellow and the LED is very white. Now, LED you can change, HIDs um, will change depending on what um, xenon gas they're using. And the halogen is what it is. So what I'll do now is I'm going to take our trusty little light meter 
Uh, we can go and get some lux readings. I'm, I'm only doing the lux readings because I'm interested in how much light they put out at about 100 meters, which is the tree line. Um, don't get me wrong, they are very different technology. They're very different wattages. So I'm not overly fussed about how much light they're putting out. Um, but I think it's more of a curiosity than anything. So we'll put that, we'll put the details of that and the results in the article as well. Um, but yeah. Interesting, interesting seeing the difference of all three lined up side by side. So, anyway, let's go and get some readings.